Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. We made it through the first night at the hotel. Kira's first night in a hotel. <laughs> and she actually did really good. She's got a little bit of energy this morning. We already walked around quite a few times. Shelby's like, I ain't messing with this puppy. Come on, guys. So as I said before, we are in Coralville, Iowa tonight. We are hitting the road and we are driving all the way to Fort Collins, Colorado, which is just outside of Denver. That is our goal for today. Today is actually a fairly long drive day. It's about 11 hours and 20 minutes of road time between here and there. So it's about seven o'clock in the morning right now, but we'll gain an hour. So we're hoping with the stops and everything, we'll be there by about seven o'clock mountain time. That's kind of the goal. This trip to California, we're doing, doing like just the drive straight through on the way back we're going to be stopping and seeing things and kind of trying to do a little bit more but this drive there we're just trying to get there so we can get back what are you doing yeah you get this out of your system so you got to get back in the car and ride so get some play time in yeah oh all right jamie's already loading stuff he already took the suitcases out so we've only got a couple more things to load and grab the dog should be pretty easy yeah you're all feisty, huh? You're even going to play with Shelby? And you have the bed advantage? Husky's wrestling in a hotel. <laughs> yeah? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. So, I don't want to jinx it, but we're on day two. And we're, what, an hour and a half into the drive. And how are the dogs doing? They're doing so good. Like, the first day was amazing, and I thought, maybe it's a fluke. Maybe, maybe they're gonna not be this good. They're being amazing, you guys. Like, look at, look at, here, I'll get you over the net. Hi, these two have been snuggling. Shelby's just asleep, and we get them in the car, and they just go right to sleep. It's like, they're just, they're just doing so good. Hi. She's like, oh, is that my, my sister's on me? Okay, it's just checking. <laughs> Hi, Shelby. How you doing? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're doing amazing. Seasoned travelers. You're already a seasoned traveler. We're in the land of the windmills. Yep. We've been driving for, what, an hour and a half? And yeah. this is all we see. Yep. Windmills after windmills after windmills. You know, I think the last time we drove across country, these things didn't even exist. I don't think they did either. I mean, they may have existed, but they yeah, weren't. Yeah, they weren't like this. They weren't like this, yeah. yeah. They were privately owned in people's yards. Yeah. They're pretty cool. Driving through the windmill farm. We even saw a couple semi trucks carrying the blades. Yeah, was it? That was yesterday. That was yeah, kind of neat. Yeah, like three or four semi trucks long, but nothing in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Some wheels, I bet. That's pretty neat. Oh, there's a bunch more up there. Yeah. It looks like the clouds are breaking up and it might get sunny for us too. It's sunny up there. Yeah, I see the windmills have sun. Yeah. yeah. These girls are still sleeping. Sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. We are currently in Nebraska. The land of nothing but flat. <laughs> it's so flat. It is pretty flat. And it makes it so boring. And it makes it tiring. Right. It's like, ugh, so flat. I mean, it's pretty. It's just flat. It's pretty for like a few minutes and then it's flat. <laughs> we have four hours and 45 minutes left to go. Yay! Hey, now out up front. All right, you gotta get in the back. So the girls were all sitting here waiting patiently. We just fed them lunch, but we had chicken, chicken or chicken nuggets. Well, yeah, we had McDonald's. So we had a couple chicken nuggets. Jamie was just finishing up some fries. They were all waiting for one more bite. Like, one more bite, maybe. Hey, you're not supposed to be riding up front. I mean, it's good that you're laying down, but you're supposed to be in the back. There's no more. We ate it all. Uh, so I don't know if I said what time we actually left this morning, but I think we got out of the hotel by, what was it, like 7.15? Oh yeah, it's about that. About 7.15. Yeah, definitely and, for Yeah, we knew today's drive was like 11 hours and 20 minutes or something like that, like actual road time. We know it's going to take an hour, but we, we figure whatever the road time is, add about an hour to an hour and a half with all of our stops. And so far our estimate's been about right. 
mean, that's, it's been about right. Tomorrow is actually the longest road time. It kind of sucks. The hotel that we were going to stay at that was a little bit closer wouldn't allow us to bring all three dogs. So we had to stay at a hotel that's a little bit closer this way. So we got to drive a little bit further tomorrow, but only by like, really only a half an hour further than we drove today. But then the last day we've only got like a four hour drive. So that would be great. Girls, there is no more chicken nuggets Sorry. or nothing up here. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we are just, it's travel days. That's what I was telling you. The first three, the first three days are major travel days. So yeah. hopefully here soon we'll be uh, seeing some mountains because uh, this flatland stuff is getting kind of flat. I don't know, that does look pretty with the blue skies and the green. Okay, that's pretty over there. <laughs> You guys, look. Look who's snuggling. Oh my goodness. Do you think Shelby learned that from the puppy? I'm thinking so. So we think, look at Kira back there. So we think Shelby learned from the puppy that Memphis makes a good pillow. I don't think I've ever seen them snuggle like this. Jamie and I were just making the joke that Kira's back there playing the Goldilocks of the Three Bears. She was in Memphis's seat, and then she was in her own seat. Now she's back there trying out Shelby's spot. She's got to try out all the spots before she gets comfortable. Oh my gosh. You're the best. So comfy. And you're just, you're just amazing. And I can't reach you because you're all the way back there. But oh my, look at her all sprawled out. I don't think it gets much. Oh gosh, it just got cuter. It just got cuter. <laughs> So check this out, you guys. This is a little dog play area at a rest area, and it's actually like an off-leash area. Of course, all the girls have to pee. I'm leaving it in, I don't care. <laughs> they haven't been able to stretch their legs like this in a while. Kira, come here. Good job, yeah, run, yeah. Yeah, good job. Yeah, what do you think of this? It's like your own private dog park. We got you your own private backyard. <laughs> Look at her so happy. You're so happy. What do you think? Oh, Kira's running. This is great. You get to stretch your legs. Go, go, go. Yeah. What do you think? She's like, man, I haven't been able to stretch my legs in a full day. I mean, they did run around the hotel room. Run, Shelby, run! Yeah! How fun is that? Here comes a puppy! <laughs> go, Kira, go! She's going for Memphis! <laughs> oh, how fun! This would be a nice little break. We're actually only about a little less than two hours from the hotel. So this is a perfect break. Was that super fun? You got to play and run around? And now, back in the car. <laughs> Let's rock and roll, puppies. So that was a pretty cool rest stop. And it gave us a second for the dogs to kind of get out and stretch their legs a little bit. Uh, we let them run around, as you can tell. They really enjoyed that. So that was a nice little rest stop. We were in Sterling, Colorado. I think I said that already. And um, we're about two hours, a little less than two hours away from our hotel. This is pretty. This is a pretty little town. Looks like a lot of industry. I wonder what they make here. Sterling Fuels. I wonder if they make fuel. I bet that's what they're making. I have no idea. Look, train tracks. And trains, lots of trains. Oh, this is a cute town. <gasps> Look how cute it is. I love driving through towns like this. Pretty neat. All right, we're continuing on. So they're still very far in the distance up there. But I believe those are the Colorado Rocky Mountains. See them all along the, through the bugs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are about 20 minutes from our hotel and we are ready to get out of this car. Are you ready to get out of this car, huh? How about you, are you ready to get out of this car? I felt you. I felt you pop over the seat. I did, I felt ya. <laughs> we made it to our hotel in Colorado. Look, it looks just like the other room. Only this one doesn't have carpet. This stuff is a little bit different color. 
It's got a different light on the wall there. But look at this. We're on the main floor again, which I really like. We thought about trying to get a higher up room so we could have a little bit of a view, but we're good on the main floor. It uh, makes it easier for all of us getting in and out. So this is our room. Jamie just went out to grab our stuff. We got here right when we thought we would, about 7.30. So dogs are gonna chill for about 15 minutes. We're gonna feed them and order food for us. What do you think, girls? What do you think, huh? You get up here? Yeah. Which bed you gonna take tonight, huh? Wanna get up here, Shelby? Get up here. And Kira's like, I can do it. I pushed that over there so Kira can get up there. That's what I did yesterday too. Yeah, I know, fun stuff, huh? He's coming back, he's coming back, I promise. <laughs> this is currently what is going down. This is what happens when you coop up huskies in a car for 11 hours. Even Shelby was running a second ago. Come on, go, go, come on, go this way, go, 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 go. Memphis is like, do you know what the best thing about being at a hotel is? Ready, Memphis? Come on, jump. <laughs> Jumping out of beds. <laughs> Ready, Memphis? Jump. Jumping out of beds. <laughs> You're so goofy. I got nothing, Kira. I got nothing. I got nothing. I'm just helping you guys run out some energy. We're giving them a little break. We're going to eat, and then Jamie and I are going to take them out for a good W-A-L-K -okay and see what we can see out there. All right, we're on the nightly walk. So after they eat, we give them a little time to rest, and then we take them out for... A good long walk. Oh god, there goes a bunny. There's bunnies everywhere and the dog's already almost cornered one. And say so you better hold on tight. I'm not, I'm not gonna point it out. Yeah. They were so distracted when they saw the last one that yeah. I don't need to They're still it. distracted from it. They're like, yeah, they're still we gotta smelling. find the bunny. Hey, come over here, you can smell them over There's here. mountains around us somewhere, but I don't really know where they are. I said, I think they're towards the clouds. I don't know. We can't see them nope. from here, so. Yeah, I think they're behind the house. Yeah, I think they are too. I think they're that way. I think we're kind of down a little bit, so we can't see over see everything. See him. He's between these trees. Oh no, he is. He's right between Do these you guys trees. see the bunny? He's between these two trees and the grass. There he goes. See him over there? He's way over there. Yeah, we don't need to see the bunny. Right? We don't need to see the bunny. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, our hotel's over there. We're doing a big walk around the block. You smell that bunny. I know they do, do. That's exactly what they're doing. They should have their harnesses on now. <laughs> No, because you'd be gone. <laughs> oh, all right, let's head back. The dogs haven't seen it yet. There's a baby bunny right there. It's right in the middle of the grass. Literally right there. And doesn't seem to care that the dogs are right here. Uh-oh. Memphis, I and think. And it's over. I think Memphis sees him. Run, baby bunny, run. Memphis sees it. Oh, yeah, Memphis sees it. Yeah, watch out, because guess what? I now Shelby does, too. Do you see that, huh? Do you see the little bunny? You better run, baby bunny. Mm -hmm. You see your little bunny? See it? It's yeah. not moving, so you don't see him. Bert, it moved. You better run, baby bunny. It... <laughs> Hold on tight. It's <laughs> all gone, girls. All right. That on. was it. That was the baby bunny. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Baby bunny is not snacks today. <laughs> no snacking on a baby bunny. That was cute. That was a cute baby bunny. <laughs> Come on, leave the bunny. Bye bye. Well, look at that. Is it just because you're that tired from riding? Or in a small way, do you actually like that puppy? Because she's sleeping on your leg just like she does with Memphis. And you guys have been there for like half an hour. <laughs> You're way too cute. I don't even want to wake you up to make you go outside. You're so darn cute. <sighs> Memphis is over here. I was working on my computer. She's chilling over here. Such a cutie. All right. Is this our sleeping tonight? Sleeping situation? Puppy's with me and you get both those dogs? Oh, no. Is that what's going to happen? I don't think so. No? I don't think you could sleep on that. It pulls out into a sofa bed. 
You could really wreck your back. Yeah. No. I'm Memphis. I'm not come grab you here in a minute. Yep. Yeah. Memphis, you gotta come share a bed with me. Shelby gets to have dad all to herself. Yeah, we debated. Yeah. And this puppy won't keep me up all night if you're over there. Yeah. She'll get upset. All right, you guys, we're calling it a night. We have the longest drive of the entire trip tomorrow. <sighs> was not the plan, but we will make it work somehow. <laughs> you ready to drive 12 hours and 11 minutes tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. We're going to try to be on the road by 7, if seven, not earlier. Seven, which we figured it'll be 7. We gain an hour, so it'll actually... 7 to 8. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it'll be se it should be 7 to 7 because we gain an hour again. Yeah, we'll see. We're, we might end up stopping a little bit more. Yeah, we yeah. might stop a little bit more. Yeah. Tomorrow. There's more of nothing. No, we're driving through Utah. Um, it's going to be gorgeous. And we're driving through the mountains. We're taking 70 and we're literally going through those mountains we saw. Yeah. So we might have to stop at some roadside parks. Yeah, we can do that. Yay. All right. All right, you guys, we're going to bed. We hope you enjoyed today's video, another day of travel vlog, and uh, we will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Stay positive, dream big. We'll see you again soon. Oh, are you gonna pick her up? She's like, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh hi, Memphis. <laughs> oh. <laughs> as long as I get up bed. That's all you want, huh? Thank you for leaving me space for my feet. Mm -hmm. Are you happy too? Yeah, I got you. This is literally what we have to do when we have <laughs> hotels with two queen beds. We have to share them because... You don't all fit. Well, yeah. If Jamie and I both tried to get on a queen bed with two dogs, it was always a pain. But it was, it was, with... It was trying. With three dogs, it's a little harder. Oh, bed. All right, let's go to bed. Hey, excuse me. Go to bed. Good night, audience. Oh, you gotta focus anyway. Good night, audience. If you love our huskies, come along for the ride. All you have to do is hit subscribe. Follow as we share our lives with our dogs and join our adventures on Snow Dog Vlogs.